Well, this is where the Under London expedition goes to ground, so to speak. This is the Ranelagh sewer in Hyde Park. Well, I hope you find your way OK. There's no maps, I'm afraid, because no one's ever mapped the whole of the city down there. Down the bottom of the manhole, you'll find Arthur Holmes, sewer man. He'll look after you. Be seeing you. Woo! <laughs> Flushes. Yes. And my job is that I test when we come here, I see that everything is tested for gas before they go down. I'm first man down, I'm last man up. Arthur, how many hours a day do you work down here? Well, I should say between five, five and a half. Where does that one lead to, Arthur, if you carry straight on up there? Straight through, that goes about five or six miles towards the river. Five or six miles? As long as that? Yeah. Well, let's go. Right. like this, do they, nowadays, are they? Not, not nowadays. I don't think any lay bricks like that now. Wait, I like what we've got here. What? Something. Yeah, I can pull teeth for you. People ever ask for their teeth back? Well, we've got one or two old stories of that, you know, when they've been out on a party. And they said they phoned them that because they've had a good night and they've lost their full teeth. We're going to go and have a look for them. We find them sometimes, but what they do with them after that, God only knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, where are all the diamond rings and things? Do you ever You're find any You're joking, rings? you never lose them. What, does anyone ever lose anything like that? Well, one old ring was lost. Very sentimental value, this old lady, about eight it was. Yeah. First of all, look at our phone, didn't ask if we could find it. Went out, had a look in the sewer and, you know, couldn't find it. A couple of days after, the person that was looking after her phoned into the garden and said, she's very sorry for the inconvenience she put us to, but when she went to bed that night, she found the ring in her knickers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Arthur, doesn't the smell get you down, down here? 
No, you get used to it, you don't take any notice of it. Oh. After a time, I mean, after years of it, you just get used to the smell and just carry on. Arthur, do you yeah. ever find any odd things down here? We saw, I read the newspapers about a year ago in New York. They found alligators down there. All these people let, let their pets go free in the sewers. Alligators? Alligators. I think it was alligators. Oh, no, we've never found anything like that. We've seen the odd frog or an eel or perhaps an old dead fish or something like that come out of a fish shop or something. <laughs> but uh, with regards to alligators, no. <laughs> I don't think I should be down here if there were. Mind you, you've got some rats down here, haven't you? Oh, well, I mean, that is a hazard of the sewer, isn't it? I mean, we, we go around poisoning them and every so often. That's two or three times a year. We keep them down as much as possible. Yeah. Now, if you stay here, we will show you what happens when a stall comes on. Oh, Our door right. comes on the door. So you stand back there. Post Office Railway. The only really odd thing about this railway, apart from its size, is the fact that normally it's got no driver, no guard, and apart from us, no passengers. And there's no ticket collectors at the stations, and no tickets for that matter. And inside, you can see there's no, none of the adverts and the usual things you expect of an underground tube railway. And yet it runs for 22 hours a day, six days a week, and it's one of the most efficient of the underground railways of London. How many stations do you say there are? What's that, Ren? How many stations? There's eight stations. There's six and a half miles of track, in fact. It runs from the... East End from Whitechapel, out via Liverpool Street and Mount Pleasant, and then out to the main railway station at Paddington. I see we're coming into a station. What is this? Well, this is the uh, Mount Pleasant railway station where they take out the, the mail bags, put them into the, the hoppers, and then they get carried onto the conveyor belts up to the sorting office.
post office underground railway carries more than 40,000 bags of mail across London every day. In half the time, it takes the mail vans in the congested streets up top. It's efficient and it speeds the mails. The trouble is, the vans are cheaper. It's never quite fulfilled its early promise either. When they opened it 40 years ago, they meant it to run north to south under London as well as east to west. But they ran out of money, so now it's stuck. A unique but unfinished and unfinishable example of yesterday's foresight. This is the conveyor belt where all the parcels and letters go up to the delivery vans up at Mount Pleasant. And that is precisely where I'm going to. So I'll bid my adieus and see you later. A word before I vanish entirely on this contraption. It seems to me that whatever the future of the post office railway, that as the streets up there get more and more congested, so more and more of our vital public services might go down there, where you are, where there's still just about enough room for a few more tunnels. Although not all that much room, as you'll probably see for yourself later. Cheerio. tube stations in London, and it so happens you're halfway up the emergency stairs of one of them, York Way near King's Cross. Now, incidentally, since you're here, when I told you that there are a hundred miles of tube tunnels under London, I forgot to say they're not all continuous, of course. The longest continuous tunnel is between East Finchley and Morden, that's one whole lot of 17 miles, and the deepest is 220 feet. So you're in the heart not only of the first but also the biggest and most complex underground railway system in the world. By now you go. There's a lot of disused runs and forgotten tunnels down here. Okay, listen. Well, if you like that sort of thing. If you don't get claustrophobia, it looks very unpleasant in here. My God, that we're on earth, are we? I feel like a couple of minnows in the inside of a whale. Look at the floor, it's all damp. Yeah. Do you think it's coming through? Well, Maybe there's a river above us. Don't say anything like that. Well, it's possible, isn't it? I don't know where we are. Well, where is all this water coming from? What's it? What's your bag? Thank you. 